I've, I've started recording it then. Um, it's absolutely lovely to speak to you. I think we've communicated before by email, but this is our first face-to-face. -face, so uh, thanks for speaking us. Uh, thanks for speaking to me. Today. Yeah, this is our first Zoom to Zoom. I love it. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> are you, how how are you finding isolation and lockdown and stuff? It must be hard for actors and musicians, and you're both. Did I buy stock in the Zoom company? No, but I wish I had. Uh, did you hear about that, by the way, that all these people were buying the wrong Zoom? Oh, really? The ticker for, for, for Zoom was, was misleading, evidently, and, and people were buying the wrong, the wrong Zoom stock, uh, which I thought was the funniest thing I'd ever heard. Yes, well, um, that's calm. But needless to say, that's, uh, that's what's helping us get through this thing, is, is keeping our senses of humor. <laughs> have you done any zoom rights I, I imagine they're quite weird you know what i did i did one um and it took us about an hour for uh the three of us to figure out how to uh to make the thing work right so <laughs> <laughs> right 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 and so <laughs> at the end of the day we, we really didn't have that much time to write because no. uh an hour was spent uh trying to tech troubleshoot yeah, by all that time, your creativity has ebbed away. That's what I said. They were like, all right, guys, I think, oh, I got sun. I said, all right, great. Well, I got five minutes, then I got to run. But <laughs> <laughs> So you've been, you've been so busy this year with music and, and festivals and stuff. Was that always in the plan, or are you, like, are you reacting to the situation? Well, I knew that the pandemic was, um, was coming. <laughs> so... Um... <laughs> I can't take anything seriously right now. It's, it's the, what's going on in the world is so incredibly crazy um, that I think it's, it's got us all a little bit uh, off our rockers. Um, yes. Yeah, man. You know what? It's, yeah, it's been interesting. Cause I, uh, <clears throat> you know, I had the intent of putting out a whole bunch of music, um, which is kind of what I've been doing for, uh, for the last couple of years now. Um, trying to release a song roughly every four to six weeks or so. And, you know, sometimes a little bit sooner than that and sometimes not. And then with this thing, uh, I mean, we're all just holed up, you know, and, and you can't really do too much. And I, I'm, I am the worst at sitting still. <laughs> um, you know, my girl's got me doing this meditation app thing and I do it for five minutes. It's supposed to do every day. And I don't. Right. But five minutes. And that's all, I can, that's all I can tolerate. So I'm like, I need to be doing something whether it's creative or yes. working out or just being active, you know? And, and so then I started writing more music while I was quarantined up um, and uh, started realizing that everybody was going live. Yeah. Everybody yeah. was doing these live things. And every time I fired up the Instagram, which was even more than usual, because mm -hmm. we're all living from home now. And I started to realize that everybody was doing these things. And initially I thought, Oh my goodness, like every, everybody's doing them. Like enough's enough, you know? But then I had been asked to do a couple and, uh, and then Pip and, and Destination Country and, and having me do the, uh, the show with you guys. And, yeah. you know, I thought, wow, this is, this is a new platform I've never ex explored before to stage it. Um, had it not been for you guys, I probably never would have even ever tried it myself. Like, yeah. Um, you know, and now I'm, I'm, I'm doing my own stage. It's and <laughs> so it's opened up a whole, a whole new world. Um, you know, I think for myself and, and for a lot of us. And uh, when Stagecoach was, was fast approaching and we realized that, you know, obviously that wasn't going to happen and it was getting postponed until October, uh, we were kind of just sitting around waiting like, well, I hope they do something online. Yeah. I hope they do some kind of like virtual, you know, in, in the interim. And then it was like a week out and we yeah. still hadn't heard anything. So... I thought, well, hell, you know what? Why don't I do my own little stage couch? And, uh, and that's what we did, you know? And, and it went, oddly enough, I think after uh, Destination Country you know, ran the, uh, the press release, which was, <laughs> I feel it like it was like five days prior right. to the weekend, to the date. And then all of a sudden, stage coach was like, yeah. hey, we're doing a stage couch. I was like, well, isn't it funny? Yeah. Isn't it? And I said, "Hey, the more the merrier, right? Because this is not a, not about competition. It's not about making money at this point. This this is about us supporting artists and getting the music out there, and and uh, you know making the best we can do during crazy, crazy pandemic times." 
but you know, I put together this, 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 this flyer, the art, you know, and I find this, this, this couch that I thought was really cool sitting out in a, in a, in a field somewhere. And, and it was this blue overstuffed leather, leather couch. And uh, as soon as we released the press release, then a couple of days later, a day or two later, and stagecoach comes out with their own stage couch using <laughs> what it looks to me like a really similar <laughs> overstuffed leather blue right. couch. And I was just like, all right, we're in this together. Yeah, we're yeah, in this yeah. together for sure. <laughs> did, they, did they contact you directly then? No. Oh, okay. No. Right. Yeah, yeah. So, no. <clears throat> Well, I wondered whether lawyers got involved at one point. <laughs> I don't know. I've been checking my mail. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> and um, and then you you're doing a sequel. We're doing the sequel. We're we're doing the thing. Uh, yeah. It's what was crazy is you know I initially with 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 that idea had uh, reached out to a few of my friends and I just thought you know why don't we do this? Initially, it was going to be um, a couple of separate lives yeah. um you know me and somebody and then we do another one me and somebody me and somebody um and i thought well why just keep doing these like you know one-on-one -on -one lives when we can just do a whole bunch of people yeah. so all those people that wanted to do one-on-ones i thought well why don't we all just come together and make it and then all of a sudden the thing just became huge and then we had you know 50 50 some people uh, playing across across two stages, a stage at stage and a Facebook live stage concurrent with each other. So then I thought, well, it'd be kind of cool to have like a real festival, yeah. multi-stage, uh, you know, thing operate at the same time. And so that's kind of how that all that all came together. And then with this with this iteration, uh, you know, people even with the first one, they said uh, on the phone when I was talking to them and, and coordinating the uh, their videos and their time slots and all that. And they said, do you, do you think you might do another one? And this was even before the first one had already happened. I was yeah, like, well, yeah, yeah. let's, let's, let's see, let's see, you know, yeah. let's see if the thing actually works, you know, if the live stream actually worked. And it was six and a half hour long. Uh, it was mammoth. Crazy. <laughs> crazy. Literally, our, my computer was overheating. Right. I think that yeah. the day on the, on the live stream, it was, I don't know, 90 some degrees. I don't really have AC in my house. So we were swapping out um, ice packs under the, <laughs> under the, the computer every, every 20, 30 minutes so the thing didn't overheat. <laughs> but yeah, people were asking if we're going to do it again even before we did it. And, uh, and then after the fact, you know, there was more interest. And, and yeah, so I'm excited. Uh, you know, we got another one coming up here soon. We're trying to lock down a date uh, very, very shortly, um, yes. which we should know really any day now right um and this this next one's going to be great it's going to it's going to be it's going to be good I and mean, it's going to be different and amazing and what what was your biggest piece of learning that you walked away with from the first one sorry that's my dog going crazy i don't know if you can hear him or not oh, i hope yeah, not right. hope it's not oh no rock <laughs> rock they can all hear you <laughs> <laughs> He likes to terrorize the neighborhood, well, but like in a friend, in a friendly way. Yeah, 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 yeah. Um, what was the biggest piece? Yeah, man, so much, so much. I feel like everyone should 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 try to do something like this because you, you really do learn a lot. You know, I had to learn how to operate this OBS system from 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 scratch. Yeah, I had no idea what the thing even was. Um, now I've learned it's a very, very cool piece of, of uh, application that is free and it's really quite uh, amazing. Mm -hmm. So thanks to whoever developed that stuff. Um, you know, I also learned that uh, it's possible to not sleep for 40 hours and, uh, <laughs> and still feel tired two weeks after the fact. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, it's, it, man, it was a process. I mean, really, it was like, you know, we what started as just this little little tiny like seedling thing you know um at the end of the day you know it would sound like we were operating a big a big a big thing anyhow but um the fact that we were juggling you know 50 some artists and scheduling and, and then editing together a six and a half hour long movie uh, yes. more or less and then operating that whole thing it was yeah it was there were there were a number of takeaways good and um and and then presumably are you going uh, for the sequel uh, on us on the same grandeur stage stage is it going to be as big 
Still trying to figure that out. I think, um, you know, what was interesting is uh, with the stage it stuff, you know, that <clears throat> initially I wanted the whole thing, all of it to be, to be live. And I thought, well, there's, there's just, it's not humanly possible for yeah. me as just one person to, to, to operate, you know, a proverbial switchboard, which I don't have. I have a MacBook. Um, and to, 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 to check in with every artist every 20 minutes before they go live on stage. Yes. Um, yeah, yeah. You know, what was funny actually was, uh, and kind of as I think the day progressed, we, we started to experience more and more of this, probably as the, the sun started to go down yeah. and the uh, alcohol started to, to increase, not for myself, but <laughs> for others. Um, people, artists would be playing <clears throat> their set on stage it, and then the next songwriter artist who had the next slot would, would jump on uh, potentially too soon. Right, yeah. Kick, kick that artist off right in the middle of, of, yeah. uh, <laughs> of yeah, their yeah. set. And then, you know, people would just see that artist sitting there and they'd be like, what are you doing? You just kicked off Nick Tyrell or whatever. Like, how <laughs> dare you? So that was, that was actually kind of funny. Um, <laughs> so I don't know. Going forward, I think, I think what we're going to mainly do is, is keep the Facebook Live thing going because that seems to be um, the most accessible for people. Yes. Um, yeah. You know, like I said, and to reiterate, this was not about making money. It was about supporting artists and, and community. And, you know, if there's a way to, to, to raise a bit of, of money by way of tips and donations, um, we were all for that. Uh, because uh -huh. this is a time where artists and songwriters can't tour, can't play live, really, uh, you know, aside from, you know, inside their homes. And yeah, yeah. So, you know, we, we, yeah, we made some, some tips and some donation money. Um, and, uh, you know, that was, that was nice. It, with stage it uh you know they don't allow uh, a free show um i no. think you can set the minimum what, what's the minimum 10, 10 cents or something yeah it takes 10 cents yeah yeah it's pretty it's pretty low so it's 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 as 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 free as possible um and that's what we set it up there and it was a pay what you can and um you know we don't want anyone to be prohibited um, no. or excluded because they couldn't afford it that's not what it was about <laughs> So yeah, I think I think the Facebook Live seems to be a pretty good, mm -hmm. a pretty good uh, platform for it going forward. And uh, on top of that, you're releasing n new music as well. Didn't do this on my own. It was such a rollicking romp of a song. Thanks, man. Thank you. And it got it got premiered on the uh, UK radio as well. That was super cool. Yeah, thanks, thanks to you all. Um, I don't know how you guys, how you guys got that, but uh, that was man. Pick, that one. wow. That yeah. <laughs> Cheers to that. That was super, super, super cool. You co-wrote that with Earl Bud Lee, who uh, famously co-wrote Friends in All Places. How did that come about? So crazy. Um, like so much in the music world, I feel it happens. <clears throat> um, I was at. I was at a BMI uh, holiday party a handful of years, a few years ago. And I was there with my producer and a couple other guys. And um, we had just finished a write and we wrote a really cool song and uh, Prospector, actually, I think it was. Oh, okay. Yeah. And uh, with Joey Green. And um, we had gone to, to BMI for this, this party. <clears throat> and Kevin my producer was uh you know he's 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 so good at just like being like oh that's so and so let's go say hi like <laughs> you know them he'd be like no and then he just walks over he goes hey i'm kevin this is rob my rs blah, blah, you know was mm. like, whoa dude like this is you know really bold of you but i appreciate it uh and he's and he sees bud lee there and i said oh my god do you know him he's like well i've met him a couple of times like, wow he's like let's go say hi so we go over and say hello and uh we don't talk for very long um can't even really ascertain whether uh, he recognized kevin or not doesn't matter yeah. but it was just a very very <clears throat> quick um introduction and uh, back and forth and we went on our own way and then the next time i was in town i said i just i said hey man i go why don't we why don't we get a right with with earl bud why not just ask if you don't ask you don't know yeah, yeah, yeah. And um, he asked, 
and somehow he said yes. That's so cool. He said yes, <clears throat> and um, the next thing I know, we're sitting outside, outside the studio in Nashville, and uh, it's a beautiful day, and and Bud goes, uh, he goes, hey, do you guys mind if we write outside today? It's so nice, you know. So we're just sitting outside and under a, an umbrella, kind of like where I'm sitting right now, and writing music. Yeah, yeah, yeah. In Nashville with <laughs> an absolute legend, mm. treasure of a human being, <clears throat> songwriter, you know. And what's really, really cool is that now he's, um, that song, by the way, we never, we never finished. I'd like to. So this is a cool one. But uh, now he's become my God, he's become a friend. He's become, he's, he's a mentor of mine. Right, he's a uh, cool. mentor to me, I should say. Uh, he's, yeah, and a, and, yeah. And, a, and a songwriting partner. When, 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 um, didn't do this on my own, came to be, you know, I, I, I reached out again to, to Bud and I said, hey, you know, I'm gonna be in town, why don't we write? And he said, okay. Um, and I said, uh, I'd also like to add uh, a couple other people to, uh, to this write, you know, and, in you know typical Nashville kind of you know writers' room style, uh, you don't really just do that. Oh, okay. You're not just like you know you know what I mean. Like if if we were to go to dinner or something or go get drinks or something, and then <clears throat> you know we show up and you're like, oh yeah, by the way, these are the two people that I was br like, wait, wait, I'd be like, wait, what? Yeah, I didn't yeah. know what you're bringing people. Along. You know what I mean? Which yeah. would still be super super cool because I'm sure that your friends are amazing and we would all get along. Um, I digress. The point being. You just don't do that unannounced. No, and no. I didn't do it unannounced, but I kind of like planted the seed. And I was like, I have an idea. I have an idea. And, you know, the first, I think, thought that people have, not that this was his, but, you know, generally it's like, well, how many people? Because then <clears throat> you write a song and you, how many ways you got to split the damn thing? You know? yeah. <laughs> but I thought, well, you know, if we, if we can write something that's pretty cool, I don't care how many ways we split it, really, because... It's not gonna. It's gonna be something that it otherwise might not have been. Yes. Had it not been for all of us. Yeah. Um, you know, when I wrote, uh, when we wrote, uh, "Road with No Lines." Yeah. <clears throat> with that song, you know, a buddy of mine, Evan Williams, was a actor friend of mine out here, a musician as well in L.A. He, I said, "Hey, man, I got this 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 house in Nashville that I'm that I'm renting, this Airbnb. Why don't you?" fly on out and just take one of the rooms for you know the handful of days that i'm down there he's like well he's like i'm not working out here right now you know i wasn't on a movie or a show and he said okay so he packs up his car and drives all the way from la okay to nashville i was like wow all right i, I was gonna suggest maybe just hop on a you know southwest flight but yeah, okay. yeah. and he drives to nashville and uh, I said, I said, you know, I got a kind of a busy schedule during the day. I got rights and stuff, but in the night we can hang out and write and whatever, explore and have fun. And he asked, uh, well, can I, can I come to the right? Ah, uh, okay. Now again, typical Nashville stuff like that. Yeah. Can I just come to the right? Not really. But I thought, eh, what the hell, right? <laughs> he's, a, he's a good friend. He's a good writer. He's a great art. You know, eh, what the hell? So he comes in, and that was the day that we wrote Row With No Lines, which to this day is still one of my favorites. And uh, Is yeah. that the song of yours that resonates the most? When you played it for Destination Country in our streaming show, that was the one that seemed to, to elevate itself above all the others. It was such, you, you sang that so well. Hmm. Well, thank you for that. Um, I, I love I love the song I love the song and I love and I appreciate the the response that it gets um, you know I think there's uh, I like to think I'm a happy person yeah, yeah or as happy as I can as I can muster myself to be and as hopeful as I can muster myself to be um, you know but there's also, you know, a little bit of sadness that, that, that I think we all experience and, you know, some of us more than others. And <clears throat> point being, you know, a lot of country music these days is, uh, you know, drink beer and, uh, and, and pick up trucks and stuff, and, which is great, which is great. And I love that stuff. But there's also a, a place mm -hmm. and time for some, you know, a, a bit of more introspective, self-reflective 
uh, music that um, that makes you think a little, but maybe not too much. Yeah, yeah. <clears throat> and I feel like I feel like we, I feel like that's what we what we did with with Rowan No Lines. Mm. Um, you know, there's something to be said for kind of being in your in your solitude and your lonesome and with with your thoughts and uh, look at this going first full circle almost back to the, the meditation theme wow, um, but it is <clears throat> it is you know whether it's music or whether it's just going for a drive somewhere um you know all that to me is that's all in under the umbrella of the of, of meditation of, of you know being <clears throat> alone with your thoughts and your with you um and that's a powerful thing and i think that's what people resonate with and um, you know, I wrote it with, with some really great writers and, and J. Michael Harder and, you know, I think it's a very poetic, mm, poetic totally. song yeah, and, yeah. and it's yeah. in six, eight, you can't beat that. So, yeah. <laughs> I'm but also, yeah, man, I mean, we, we would not have had that song had it not been for Evan and no, uh, no. it was, it I'm was also, pretty cool. I'm also intrigued because obviously you touched on renting an Airbnb in Nashville and stuff and you, you come and go between LA and Nashville. Nashville is quite a closed community in some respects, isn't it? Do, do, do they treat you well when you get there or do some people go, oh no, not that LA guy? No, it's, it's, it's funny. Uh, no, it's, it's actually not funny at all. It's amazing. I, no, it's great. It's, um, I found it to be very welcoming. Um, in a very real, in a very real way. Yeah. Uh, for, for which I'm, I'm tremendously grateful. Cause you, you just don't know, you know, I mean, look, and I get it, man. Like, you know, people have, have lived there for a long, long time. They've moved from their hometowns or whatever. Or they grew like, and they've been doing this for years, 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 10 years more, you know? <clears throat> um, and for me, someone like me, you know, to, to just fly out there and, and start writing and, and making music. I can see how that would be like, you know, what, what, what is this? What, what, yeah, what, yeah. what? you know, yeah. but it, it, it wasn't, it wasn't that way. It was, it was, I don't know, man, it was really, really cool. And I, and I, and I almost feel like maybe once people heard what we were doing, you know, and the music that I wanted to create <clears throat> and the, I don't know, kind of the message yeah. behind it, you know, that it's, that it's, that it's true and that it's real and that it's not just, uh, you know, Oh, I'll just go try this for yeah, 18 yeah. months and see what happens. You know, it's not like, man, I, I grew up listening to country music and, and, you know, even though my, my, my parents uh, didn't love it, I did. And right. I spent all my time in the woods I spent all my time playing paintball and running around and riding, you know, mountain bikes and building forts. And, you know, my, my aunt had horses and, you know, it, that was just what I loved. Yeah. Yeah. It's what I loved. And as a kid, you know, you do what you love. Yes. So I listened to what I loved and I did what I loved and that, that, that happened to be that. And, <clears throat> you know, my, my acting career afforded me the opportunity to, to carve out some time and, and start making the music that I really wanted to make. And, you know, <clears throat> I think one of the reasons I hadn't done it for so long was because, uh, you know, it's, it's a tougher, for me, it's a tougher kind of, uh, genre of music to, to, to produce, uh, you know, in that I'd released other stuff before my glimpses of truth album and, and stuff like that in 2007, I think it was, mm -hmm. <coughs> excuse me. Um, that I, that I, that I kind of self-produced, um, you know, other stuff that I just kind of done from the home and, but it's, it's tough to, when you don't know how to produce this stuff to get the harmonies right. And, yeah, and yeah. you know, I don't play pedal steel and, 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 you know, if you don't know someone who plays pedal steel, well then guess what? I don't know. You kind of out of luck for adding pedal steel to your music. Um, so I kind of stayed away from that. Cause I was just like, I don't know. I don't know how to do that. And, uh, you know, gratefully, um, you know, Riley Smith uh, kind of helped yes. make that introduction to Nashville. Yeah, yeah. For me. Yeah, oh, that's cool. And so looking ahead for the rest of year, the year, have you got a load of songs that we can still uh, expect to hear coming out? 
Yeah, yeah. So I've got, uh, <clears throat> yeah, I did this on my own, just came out on the 24th of, uh, of April. And uh, I got another one coming out June 5th, which otherwise would have co coincided uh, quite nicely with CMA Fest. But, uh, yeah, yeah. <clears throat> you know. Yeah, I was coming out there for so, that. Oh man. Yeah. Well, God, yeah, that would have been fun. We could have actually hung in, 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 in the flesh. Um, yes. Yeah, so I got a song coming out uh, on the, the 5th of June called damage I done. Okay. Which I wrote with uh, Rochelle Lene, which is a really cool, fun, fun song. Um, just to kind of about being rowdy and you know, this is, this is not a, a think too much. Song. What I was just saying, this opposite of, yeah, of yeah. Well, we this need those like, songs. Yeah. We need those as well. Absolutely. So that comes out uh, June 5th. Um, man, I got some, yeah, really coming out every, every four to six weeks through the end of the year. And then some, because with quarantine, I've been writing more stuff and I thought, man, I, I've got so many songs now. Um, and, and people are probably like, what the hell are you doing, dude? You are releasing way too much music. This is not how it's done. You know what I mean? Cause there's artists who, who won't release anything for years and then they put out, you know, three songs. Like, and the, that's, I, that's don't great. Any, I don't think there are any rules about releasing music anymore, though. I don't think anybody knows what they're really doing. You know what? I, I've never known what I'm doing, <laughs> really, in any capacity in my life. Okay. <laughs> Little you've secret got, here. <laughs> trust your gut. What's that? You've just got to trust your gut. You try, that's exactly it. You trust your gut. I've always just listened to my gut and... Um, with this, I'm like, you know what? I want to release some songs, so I'm going to do it. And I, I've, 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 I've written, I don't know now, the whole bunch of songs sitting out here on my, on my, my porch, and I, I self-produced them, right, right here at the house. And uh, you know, I get up Smith Curry, who's, who's my producer and, and pedal steel player and dobro player, and I said, hey man, you know what? Can you lay some stuff down? Yeah, man. So there you have it, you know. And it's very stripped back. It's just, it's me guitar a vocal some steel on some songs some dobro on some others i pulled out the harmonica okay right pulled out my old melodica wow for, for some stuff um and it's just like very rootsy very organic acoustic um and that stuff is going to be interspersed with all the other releases so th there's there's literally music coming out kind of almost every three weeks yes that's awesome for months and months. So right. I look forward to that. And it'll be lovely for when you can finally get over here to the UK and meet some people in person as well. Oh man, <clears throat> that can't happen soon enough. Yeah. <laughs> well, look, Rob, I'll let you get on with your day. It's been uh, a pleasure to, to speak to you and finally chat face to face. Yeah, likewise. Thanks for thanks for having me, man. Uh, good, good chatting with you. Next festival, I'm sure we'll be uh, we'll be all over it uh, at Lyric, helping to promote as part of the Destination Country team as well. Yeah, yeah, and I'm grateful to you guys for that. So thank you, and, and I should have some more uh, off the record, some more some more updates here any any day. So all right, all right, that's awesome. Thanks ever so much, Rob. Have a have a lovely day. Okay, you too. Talk soon. I appreciate, appreciate it. <laughs> See ya. See ya.